today the moon is in Virgo. It goes into Virgo in the wee hours, my time. I'm on Pacific time in the United States. And uh, with that, we have the energy of grounding. Virgo is an earth sign. And so it is about practical ways that we can make things tangible here in our real world day-to-day -day lives. I'm Marina Orms here with your Astro Vibe for Friday, March 22nd. And with today's Virgo moon, uh, we we have with Virgo that, that critical way of thinking, right? So what is critical thinking? Critical thinking can be something where we're hard on ourselves, where we have that critical voice, right? Criticism can sometimes be like a not happy thing, right? And not cozy, warm, feel good thing, right? Criticism can be a little bit hard. But when you think about the importance of criticism, right? Criticism is how we improve. And so when we have constructive criticism, when we have critical feedback that is helping us achieve something, get somewhere, bring... So in thinking about bringing the divine to earth, Virgo helps us do that continuous improvement to get where we want to be. And Virgo um, has a bad rap sometimes, right? <laughs> Virgo is being nitpicky or, um, you know, that tendency to just never be good enough. So let's reframe Virgo energy. I think that Virgo is a really powerful, potent, and magical sign when you get down to what Virgo really is. And so Virgo, again, is about improvement. Um, Virgo is the energy of striving for something great. And so when we talk about bringing the divine to earth, we have Virgo, which is opposite the sign of Pisces. Pisces. Uh, we have uh, three planets in Pisces today with a fourth joining them. So Mars goes into Pisces um, later in the day today. The moon goes into Virgo really early in the day. But anyway, uh, we definitely have um, before until Mars goes into Pisces, we've got Saturn, Venus, Neptune, all in Pisces. And then uh, later today, Mars joining them in Pisces. So four planets, three, four planets in Pisces. Pisces is the sign of letting go of the limitations of earthly reality, <laughs> transcending the uh, constructs and constrictions of life so that we tap into a bigger picture. What is that bigger picture of meaning, of our heart's truth, right? And we are in that Pisces moon cycle. If you've been following me, you know that the current cycle we're in began with the Pisces new moon. And so that gives a quality or a theme to the whole moon cycle of this Pisces energy. So spiritual, transcendent, interconnected, feeling our oneness, feeling the lack of boundaries, um, feel, right, in good ways, right? Like, you, we're all connected. We're all in this together. What um, causes pain to someone else is also pain for us. And what's beautiful and wonderful for someone else is also beautiful and wonderful for us. So, so uh, that's why with Pisces energy, it's important to have boundaries, right? You don't want to be just feeling the suffering that is present in the world all the time. You can't function, but there's also, just remember, there is also joy and love in the world all the time. <laughs> so maybe we can um, open ourselves a little bit more to that uh, dimension of, of interconnectedness. So coming back to Virgo, and the Virgo moon. Uh, Virgo is about striving for greatness, striving for perfection, striving to embody what the divine 
uh, possibilities bring. So um, whether that's, you know, the dream, right? The ideal, the, the thing that makes our hearts sing, the feeling of unconditional love um, and, and joy and that just that wonderfulness of uh, the transcendence of whatever is limiting us. So Virgo is about striving. It is, right? It's the desire to improve. <laughs> Virgo is also the discernment to be able to improve. So it is how, it is about learning, right? Virgo is humility. So when we have the humility to recognize the things we still have to learn, that is when we can walk this path of the journey to greatness, right? <laughs> the striving. And so, um, you know, whether you are uh, playing a musical instrument and you, you know, spend all the hours practicing that helps you get really good at it, or whether you are computer programming and you're attending to all those little details uh, in the code, right, that make things work for us as users um, more effortlessly, right? That, that it's it's about what is in the detail, how we discern what can be improved upon. And that is the power of Virgo. And that is how we strive to bring the divine to earth through our day-to-day -day lives, through our actions. Okay, so bringing it back to earth here, <laughs> getting grounded. So what? how does this apply to you, right? This is the energy of Virgo. This is the energy of having three or four planets in Pisces and a Virgo moon at the same time um, is asking you, what is it you are doing in your day-to-day -day life? How are you showing up in ways that remind yourself that um, you are continuing to learn, that you have the humility to recognize that you do have things to learn, and you have the discernment to recognize where things can be fixed or improved upon or repaired or made better somehow. Um, and so that journey, taking those steps of what it looks like for you to do something in your tangible life, getting hands on. Um, so Virgo energy is about anything that helps us engage with the material world. And you might argue that uh, computer coding is not, not the material world, but it is working with a kind of material, right? Um, but also things like gardening, like cooking, like playing an instrument, like anything that helps you generate a result is uh, it has to do with the tangible um, experience of, you know, tangible results. So what is it in your life that is showing up? The Virgo moon is asking you to look at ways you can improve. Um, remember, too, that that we, when I started out talking about the critical voice or the negative ways we can think about it, we can easily go to a place of thinking I'm not, I could improve, therefore I am not good enough as I am. So the Pisces energy is reminding us you are perfect and you are worthy just as you are. And you are learning as a physical being how to create results because that's what we're here to do in life, right? It's about what we can create, um, how we are learning, how we are getting good at technique and working with materials to create results that are transcendent. So if you're cooking, it has, right, it has to do with the ingredients you use, the love you put into the cooking, all the times you've practiced making this before so you know how it works and you know how your stove works. And, you, you know, it's like all of that comes together for you to make something that um, you are learning how to get more perfect. And perhaps you make something that comes out in, a, in that spirit of beauty, and it, and it really does transcend um, through our awakening experience of awe, right? Sometimes we eat something that's so delicious 
and just so wonderful. That's because of all that Virgo <laughs> energy and improvement that went into getting it there. Um, all, all, everything that went into growing the food to the, the craft of the person who cooked it, everything. So, so what in your life is having that quality is having that need for you to give it some attention, some focus, some willingness to improve some way of looking at uh, what, how it could be better. That's what I've got for you today with the Virgo moon. All right. Thank you so much for being here. I'm Marina Orms and you can learn more about me and how to book time with me one-on-one -on -one looking at your own chart at Astrology Heals. Dot com. Thank you so much for hitting the subscribe button and for being here and sharing with your friends. I'll see you next time with more astrology for unshakable self-care. I'm here every day letting you know how the planets are helping us learn and grow. All right. See you next time. Bye for now.